One thing I wish I knew before I became a mother, sis, nobody talks about how hard it is to become a mother and be a good mother after surviving a narcissistic mother. So let's be real, motherhood is not motherhood that we see on Instagram, on social media. Motherhood is so difficult that a lot of things are not being spoken about, a lot of things are not being said about. And in this video we're going to talk about some of the unsaid things and expectation and misconception of motherhood because a lot of the time motherhood is this thing that has been glamorized for women and made a lot of women to feel like they have to do it is a thing that they must do in their life but the truth is that a lot of women also felt blindsided because by the time they got into it they got pregnant they found out they are pregnant the process of being pregnant giving birth raising a child they find out that yes as much as they saw everybody in society have kids and it was a norm what they thought in their head and the reality of being a mother and going on the journey of motherhood is totally different from the reality so yeah that's what we're talking about today hey beautiful people how you are doing today it's your girl destiny here and welcome to my channel how you are doing hope you guys are doing great so this video we're talking about some of the reality and the misconception about motherhood because like i said in the beginning of this video what they told us about motherhood even being pregnant is Throw it out of the door. It's different. If you know you're a mother in the house, if you know a mother watching this video, go down please and share your story and let us know what are some of the misconceptions you have about um, being a mother, um, pregnancy and all that, and what was the reality like for you when you had the child. Because you guys know, I personally, I, like, I'm on my child-free journey and I'm loving it. But also, I feel like this is a conversation which you have as women and we should be honest about it because a lot of the time and also for younger girls or women that want, still wants to be mother and all that can make that decision in an informed way a lot of women have got mm, pregnant have kids and they regret it i've spoken to a lot of women and they've said it repeatedly if they can if they know what they know now after having children and being a mother if they have all this information and they know the truth they won't have children or probably they won't have it the way they have it and the truth is that once you can actually decide not to have a child and you can decide to have a child but the truth is that once this child is here you can take it back you have to show up for that child and that's one of the reality that is really not spoken about i know people know that but it's really different we're going to share mothers share their story and what they feel about motherhood and also on the reality of being a mother because i like hearing for women that are going through it because i know some people will come in the comment section and say oh but you don't have your own kids da -da 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 -da. Mm, i know i don't have my own kids but the truth is that i'm a mom and an auntie and i'm a first daughter i raised enough kids and i have enough kids in my life that i'm still raising so i can speak from the toll it takes on you mentally physically spiritually and even financially as a woman so yeah let's get into it i'm going to share women share their story and go like i said before go on and share your own story so i'm also going to make out some of the misconception and some of the reality of having a child one of them i want to talk about is that i know pregnancy is an amazing pregnancy is an amazing journey being pregnant the whole feeling i personally have had the opportunity to know, know how that feels so i'll speak first hand of it and a lot of the time people to, uh, you see the old glamour said oh you're pregnant you're looking glowy and all that and all that but one thing they don't talk about is how mentally physically it's not like that like you see some women pregnancy is easy breezy for them why some women pregnancy is literally life and death for me pregnancy was something that was a life and death situation for me i remember my last pregnancy that i had i had a steel bed it was really hard because i was on strict bed rest and i mean strict bed rest i am not allowed to even move from the bed and the mental stress that it, it takes on me and even a lot of medication that was given to me and all that it was like it was a toll it took it took a toll on my mental health on my physical health so that's one thing a lot of people don't talk about i know some women get it easy like pregnancy is just easy breezy and they leave. but you still don't feel yourself you still feel sick some type of way and one thing a lot of women don't talk about and a lot of women don't want to openly talk about preg being pregnant for nine months 
and carrying a child for nine months inside you is a life and death situation because anything can go wrong. And even bet the day you bet that child, it's a life and death situation. Anything can go wrong. Like anything can go wrong. And a lot of women, especially in my society, they usually just, oh, it's pregnant. Pregnancy was just like, mm, just like a walk in a park. And they don't tell you how much mental, physical that you are putting your life at risk. And that's one thing, one misconception I want you guys to know that being pregnant, betting a child is a life and death situation. It takes a toll on your health, mental health, physical health. And yeah, prepare yourself. Okay. So one misconception about motherhood is that motherhood completes you. And I know this is something a lot of women have been told this thing, even just being raised as a young girl was something that was being told like, oh, when you, even people still tell me to today as a child free woman, like, oh, it's because you've not, if you have a child, you will understand motherhood just, just completes you. I know that is what society has sold to us and a lot of women actually believe that and think that oh this is just going is a is a magical transformation of who you are what you are and all that but the truth is that is a big misconception the truth is that it is totally like it is so different from the reality of it because the reality of it is that yes as much as motherhood is a mag magical experience is a transformating experience because your life will never remain the same once you have a child your life will never ever remain the same because you are responsible for that human being for the rest of your life. The truth is that there's still other part of your life that you look at it, you look back at it and like, what's going on here? It's not going to fulfill your life. The person, the what's going to fulfill your life is your dreams, your aspiration, the thing that you've always desired deep down. A lot of women use having a child, even especially in my society, having a child as a fulfillment and a lot of them really can't do anything because the children are here so they just okay this is my own fulfillment but the truth is that before that woman becomes a mother before that woman becomes who she is she has her own dreams and aspiration deep down she may not be able to have expressed it openly to people but but the truth is that motherhood is not going to complete you motherhood is not going to you have to find those other things that's going to complete you because it's so complicated it's so it's so time consuming, it's so draining that no, motherhood is not going to complete you. So you have to find that thing that you connect with, that thing that, that other areas of your life that is not mother. I don't know if I'm making that, that other area of your life that is not motherhood because I know a lot of women that are mothers, that is the, that's the only identity they have. If you ask them like, who are you as a person, the first thing they will say is that I'm a mother. Okay you were a person before a mother who are you who are you at the core so yes motherhood does not okay as much as motherhood can bring some type of joy and connection to a child to another human being and usually those things are usually temporary because this is why we have women that are having postpartum and all that so motherhood is not going to fulfill complete you that's what not fulfill motherhood is not going to complete you always remember that you're an individual so when you want to go in this journey of being a mother ask yourself is that what you really want to do one thing i wish i knew before i became a mother sis nobody talks about how hard it is to become a mother and be a good mother after surviving a narcissistic mother nobody talks about how hard it is to parent your child different than your mother parented you so now as a mother not only am i trying to parent my child but i'm trying to reparent myself i have to literally rewire my entire thinking in order to not put my daughter through what i went through i'm constantly battling myself trying to not be like her telling myself that i didn't deserve the childhood that i had and i'm constantly taking accountability as a mother because i know that the only thing that i've ever wanted from my mom was that i really struggled um when my husband went to work and i had to stay in with the baby and i loved staying home with my kids don't get me wrong i love my kids to death but i really struggled with the fact that his life hadn't changed that much yeah whereas my life changed drastically my body was different my looks were different my personality was different. Everything that once didn't annoy me annoyed me now. I cut friends off because I felt like I just didn't have time for them and I felt really guilty for the sake that I didn't have time to spend with them. So like really coming to terms with the fact that you're not angry because his life hasn't changed. You're angry because you are grieving this old version of you and that's, that's okay. So Go through the grieving process. 
three things I wish I knew before becoming a mom. You do not know the person you're having a child with until you have a child with them. You can argue with me all you want, but even if you dated them for 10 years, you still do not know what they're gonna be like as a parent to that child. And having a child changes you mentally. That is why there's so many single parents out there. Number two, there is no such thing as a village. It's an illusion, babe. And don't be fooled because they're around during your whole pregnancy. They're just waiting around to see what the baby gonna look like. Number three, you don't just lose sleep during the infant stage. You're gonna lose sleep for the rest of your life. Even when they're adults, you're gonna find yourself being up at night worried about their safety. So get some rest now, yeah? Please go down in the comment section and share your own thoughts. If you're a mother, you have your own story, go ahead and share your story. Love to know your own take on this, okay? Um, this is not to shame anybody that is struggling as a mother or anybody, but this is just the reality and people sharing it. And it's always very interesting to hear women from different backgrounds and all that. So it's not just specific to just one demographic of women. And so, oh, is this woman from here? Is this woman with this religion? Is this woman? No. Every woman that I know personally that have children that are honest, I said, they struggled and they are struggling. And if they know what they know, they won't do it the way they do, did it. Without maybe not having kids at all or not having it when they had it. But a lot of them felt blindsided getting into it and finding out it was a different ballgame from what society made it look like so one other reality that is not being talked about is the unseen mental load that motherhood brought brings to you because whether you like it or not you brought a tiny human being into this life and you have to care for this human being like the other sister said um in the response which the creator was talking she was talking about how this now this child is here and you have to take care of this child so a lot of mental work and most times the men life almost go back to like it's normal but you as the mother because you're the one breastfeeding this child this child is always with you Be and because of that automatically the child becomes really close and clinging to you so even when the child stops breastfeeding you the child is always with you you're still the one still taking care of the child the child makes a uh, uh, uh. you're the one that will notice it because you're the one always with the child you carry this child day and night every day and this can be mentally mentally draining and a lot of time this is not being talked about how this affects women imagine just carrying just caring for one thing all all the all your days and you can get you can take a break from it you can say you're tired i've seen how it's just that a lot of mothers uh, like i said i'm a mother to a lot even though i'm not a physical mother i have sisters i have friends that are mothers and you can see the physical toll it takes on them that sometimes they just need that break but they can't get it because they have to keep it i have this friend that as much as she before um she started having kids she used to be the type of person that really like as she has a routine and all that but by the time she started having kids sometimes she just wants to just go rest she just wants to be in bed all day in the morning but she can't do it because her kids has to get ready and go to school and all that and this is something they don't talk about a lot one thing i want to point out is that if you know you are not a money person really think hard before having kids because once you have kids you have to be a morning person there is no negotiation on that you have to be a morning person because you have a full human being you have to cater to so you have to be a morning person and that mental load it takes on you nobody talks about it the mental load is real and it's so sad that and i really want a lot of mothers yet to come in and have this conversation but yeah the mental load it takes on you because you have to keep everything checked. You have to make sure they are good, they are held, they are doctor's appointment, they are in school early, they are clean. You have to, yes, you had this child with your partner, with your husband, with your boyfriend, but the truth is that most of those burden falls down on you. Most of those responsibility falls down on you. You are still going to be the one to take care of all those things. So, yeah. Another misconception about motherhood is that you will instantly love being a mother and i know a lot of women are not bold enough to admit this or to say this is that you're not just going to just love being a mother some women don't even after having kids those kids feels like stranger to them they don't even want to 
hold these children, they don't want to touch the child and all that. And sometimes some of them feel bad because society has given that idea that, oh, it's you just, you just automatically bond with your child, you will love the child, you will love being a mom. But the reality is that that is not it. Some women, they have children and there's no connection with this child. And you just have to gradually take your time and walk your process to really connect with that child. And this can really be strange. I know of somebody that said when she had a child, her first child, she was looking at like, who is this stranger that will not let me rest? Like the child was latching on her because she has to breastfeed. And she was just looking at like, what? It was like, she just did not want the child on her and a lot of people did not answer, but she could not express it at that time because obviously people will like will judge her for it so she could not express it at that time this is me and her having conversation years later about this and she was like she didn't like she didn't connect nothing she just kept looking at the child the child seems very strange to her she could not get it out so yeah it's not an instant thing so it's okay if the bond between you and your child is not magical right away give yourself time okay these are people that want to have kids but before you go into it know all these things okay these are people that want to have kids so give yourself grace give yourself grace these things take time okay give yourself grace so another reality that people don't really talk about is how you're going to lose yourself how you're going to lose yourself as a mother because most times people don't don't understand how much motherhood is going to change you how it's going to make you feel exhausted mentally physically and how the things that you used to do the things you used to enjoy you might not even enjoy them anymore because you're so consumed and so overwhelmed with this tiny human being that you're taking care of or tiny human beings that is around you and most of the time most of the things who you are as a person just go out of the door your life is just involved around this kid or the kid that you just have your life is involved around it and for you to be very intentional you have to start you will lose yourself you, you like you look in the mirror which i've had a lot of friends sisters tell me you look in the mirror and you don't even recognize the person you are anymore you look at yourself and you don't even recognize the person so this is where you have to not take the time to start rediscovering yourself start doing things that really identify with you as a person something that takes you and this is where like having a village is important but the truth is that reality is that there's no village anywhere everybody's hustling nobody has time to be looking at anybody's child so that's why you have to be very intentional about is having a child something you want to have or not because they're not going to nobody have that time to do but when you have the time you're able to have supportive people around you partners around you take that time to discover yourself because you will find out that after having been a mother raising these children and all that and maybe they start leaving the house you find out that you don't have anything you know how to do but just to be a mother and there's nothing wrong with that some women love it some women that is who they are on the call but the truth is that don't lose who you are which is hard to say you're going to lose it but try and rediscover it by try to connect try to take a break as much as you can and do things that you you love doing for you and maybe that might help you i don't know mothers in the house please suggest some of the things that mothers can do okay for people that want to, mothers can do to rediscover themselves and what are the things you did to rediscover yourself you need to be very gentle to yourself you need to give yourself grace you need to practice self-care because one thing i've noticed with motherhood is that a lot of the time once the child comes the mother does not even take care of themselves anymore they just go and i feel like that also contributes to why some relationships go out of the door because the man is expecting you to still be that hot body that you were when he met you but he does not understand that you have a child that you are taking care of that this child you are responsible for this child so you cannot be that body so take give yourself grace learn learn as much as possible self-care and all that but yeah Think it twice before you have kids. It takes a lot to get back to that woman that you were before you became a mom that completely breaks you and changes you. And you have to rebuild yourself to get back up there. So you have to have a partner that's going to pour into you and be there for you through that. And what's the, the killer part is y'all be acting like we not a whole new bitch because it's we did with y'all. Like we, did, we didn't just sit here and make this baby on our own. We made this baby together intentionally or unintentionally. The baby was made. 
So like you talking about, oh well, you 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 act different or you do this. Nigga, I pushed a baby out my Facts. or got a baby. I mean, you know how traumatizing that is. You know how traumatizing it is for a woman to go through giving birth for real. Yo, I literally was in a hospital for a week. I was in a hospital for a week. My baby came and he had to stay in the hospital for an additional twenty four fucking days. And be like, oh, have another one. You have another one. <laughs> And I watched that. I paid attention to that. So you ain't I, sent him no gifts. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I want to. I, you a show, uh, I think one of the craziest things about motherhood that I didn't realize until I became a mother was the fact that you just can't stop. Like you just can't stop if you're not feeling well, or you need a mental health day, or you know chaos ensues. Like it doesn't stop for you. And this is one of those posts, if you're going to be in my comment section and be like, people who complain about me, a mom shouldn't be a mom. This isn't for you. Okay. Bye. This isn't for you. Uh, and I'm very lucky. I have a super supportive husband, but that man also works 14 hour days. So like he's got his own stuff going on. And, and I have been sick for the past few days. I finally made it to urgent care today and found out I have tonsillitis, like a really severe case of tonsillitis and ear infection and got some antibiotics. So hopefully I'll be on the mend. But in the meantime, for the past two days, nothing stopped. Nothing stopped. Everybody still needs to eat. Things still need to happen. The laundry is still piling up. The errands still have to be run. Like, I'm not sleeping at night. I wake up in the morning. I can barely, like, swallow. I haven't been eating. But, like, nothing stops. Nothing stops because there's all of these small people who are relying on me. And, and this is my job. And it's not nine to five like it's all the time i don't know that's just something crazy about motherhood that i don't think you realize until you're in the thick of it if you can hear him crying in the background this is just how it's going i'm just having such a hard day today like i don't i feel like so guilty like being so annoyed at him But I'm just so annoyed at him today and like he's just like literally I've been trying to put him down for the last like 20 30 minutes and he just won't stay down and I'm just so like frustrated and I don't even know how to pump right now and now my boyfriend's here and it's just like he's gonna ask why I'm crying. But I'm just so over him right now and like and I feel so bad, like, saying that. But, like, he's teething, and I know it's not his fault, but, like, I literally just can't help it. But, like, I feel like this is a part that moms don't talk about. And, um, and I just gave up. I gave up putting him to sleep, and now he's just going to struggle through it. So, that's just how the day is going to go. Bye. And now I have to sit here and pump for 30 minutes, which I don't want to do. It's the last thing I want to do right now. I just want to lay down and not do anything. Another misconception is that you should be able to do it by yourself, which is something that a lot of women have been judged for asking for help. A lot of women feel like if they ask for help, they are going to be tagged as a bad mother and all that. See you have to give like i said initially in this other point is that you need to give yourself grace and not be ashamed to ask for help that ideology that you have to do everything for yourself that's what is going to just like drain you so take yourself ask if you have people around you ask for help ask for, because that ideology is telling you that oh you should be able to do it all do it all by yourself and the truth is that some men actually really think they're like oh you're the mom so it's the mom the mom um see this is something that happens a lot in my society you see a mom and a dad with their child the child they have the child with them and this child start crying mind you this child does not is not breastfeeding or anything anymore and the child starts crying you see the father will hand over the child to the mother because it's been believed that you are the one to take care of the child. And this is why I keep talking about here on this channel, telling women to be very intentional about having kids. I'm not saying have kids and don't have kids. I personally, child free, I love my life the way it is without a child. But the truth is that I want a lot of women and younger women to understand exactly what they are getting themselves into because this is something that a lot of women don't openly talk about. But I'm really grateful for the internet that is making a lot of women 
to speak up and speak up the truth and share their story because you need to make an informed decision not to be caught off guard. Some of these myths about pregnancy, motherhood, being a mom, they just make it seem so glamorous and all that, which that is not the case. That is not the case. So when they tell you that you have to do everything yourself, you don't have to, okay? Even though the instinct tells you to, please ask for help. If you need to see, if you need to talk to a friend, if you need to see a therapist, please do that. If you need to just say, you know what, I can't deal with this child, it is okay. Seek for, like, call your spouse, call your partner, like, you know what, you have to have the child for the day. I need to rest. I need my time. I need, to, I, I need help. Please do it. So let me know your own take down in the comment section. What are your own take? Go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. But as always, keep it respectful, okay? Go on and share your thoughts. And if there's anything you think I miss about the misconception and the reality of being a mother and being pregnant and all that, go down and share it, okay? Share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because... That's what we do here, okay? We have banging conversations, so go on and share this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button because this helps YouTube to push up my content for more people to see. And that will be supporting this channel and this girl here, so go on and do that. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Do see.